What's up guys, this is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, this um, Ottoman army is advancing to the northeast and Adrian Marie Sanse will be intercepting. Now, a large portion of this force is made up of archers but they have a couple of um, infantry units to keep an eye on. We are slightly depleted but we sh it shouldn't cause a problem, we have a strong artillery background, background and we have a good amount of cavalry to uh, pursue. And they don't have any camels to really interfere with our pursuit. So we are going to intercept and we're going to destroy this Ottoman force. Um, and because we are um, on the offensive pretty much around the world <laughs> against so many major factions, um, I'm curious to know how far we actually get through, well, if through this um, end turn phase, if we'll actually uh, get to the start of my turn. So let's set up. So we are defensive. Let's take our depleted units and put them in the centre where they'll benefit from the most um, gunfire. And on the flanks we can spread out some of our other troops. Put the, put the bulk of our troops on the left. I want to try and keep our um, Sepoy units supported. Let's spread out our Howitzers. Cavalry on each flank. Uh, where did you come from? Here. Cavalry on each flank. General in the center. Okay, howitzers. Howitzers can't actually engage. I switched to round shot. All of our artillery fires off at the uh, the enemy artillery. A lot of archers, a couple of Janissary Musketeer units. So the units that can engage, let's make sure we do have them engaging. Like, like units like this, you can hit that unit of Mamelukes that's advancing. Aha, this artillery battery up here actually switch fire to round shot against that unit of Mamelukes because they're coming right at you. All the same against that unit of Delhi horsemen, although they are now in shrapnel shot. Maybe you guys can shrapnel shot this unit of Mamelukes. They've changed targets. No, they haven't. You shrapnel shot the Delhi horsemen. Yes! Good shots there. It's very nice of them to run in that sort of formation. And we're going to want our artillery units to uh, no, come on. Keep facing where I want. Keep shooting. Keep running charging towards where I want to charge towards. Although they're probably going to be done for under that musket fire. Yeah, there they go. So you guys return to round shot and begin well, continue counter battery work. You guys have to engage that unit of Mamelukes. To be honest, the howitzers can now start to drop Quick climb against worthwhile targets. Well, except you can try and quick climb that unit of Mamelukes there. So we're not entirely bothered about unit preservation for this force because they are. Um, this is the only army that they need, they need to be concerned about. They are going to make it to our lines in fair strength. The muskets have opened up. question is can we yeah they were too close to, for quick climb so in terms of what they've left behind the unit of mamelukes and riflemen right okay but i want i don't really want to commit my cavalry until we've got more of them routing although the left flank is quite right for a minor adjustment here Yep, 
it, they're coming for our guns. But our infantry are responding. She guys might not even have to shoot at them, because they're probably going to be... Yeah, so just aim at the... Uh, Aim at the infantry behind them and we'll watch this shot these shots go in. Good hits, good hits. Blown a real hole in their line. So on this flank. Let's get the colonial cavalry to go in get into the mix, because we have actually um fairly light unit unit types. The Mamelukes are actually Try to focus fire the Mamelukes with my howitzers. If we can knock them out, that would make cavalry excursions on the flanks that much better. Let's bring the light cavalry in, because otherwise the, the light um, Kurdish hillmen will just keep causing issues. Okay, kill the Kurdish um, hillmen. I've got some kills on the archers. You guys pivot. Face down the Janissary Grenadier unit. You can knock out Kurdish Hillman, that'd be great. General's bodyguard come after the artillery. Curacier come in hard. Eh. The Hillman want to skirmish away. Let my artillery continue to engage the um the hillmen themselves. You men advance up just to make sure that those Armenian archers don't decide to chase down my general. Yes, yeah, so they're, they're attempting to chase down my... attempting to chase down my cavalry. Yeah, they could just stop and shoot them, which would be a frustration. Let's make my general knock out some of their guns, obviously. You guys got the Janistry Musketeers. The Kurdish Hillmen are attempting to get up to some shenanigans. Let's make sure we have our guns supporting the infantry close range. You guys can pivot there. You guys can push up there. Charge the hillmen. All of our howitzers were targeted against them, so let's round shot and make them hit the Janissary riflemen that are running around in the centre of the map. Good. Kill the gun crews. When you guys are chasing down Janissary musketeers, those are worthwhile to kill. You men chase down those Janissary grenadiers, and let's pivot our line. Some of their line is coming back. So let's pivot some of our troops. General's bodyguards knocked out the enemy artillery. Come on, there's one last grenadier there to kill. Kurdish hillmen, Armenian archers. Charge into that unit of Armenian archers, it looks like. They're, they're standing bravely. You can give them credit for that. But in general, I uh, don't think... I don't think it will last. Yeah. The Nizam infantry are down. The General's bodyguards down. The you men should have lost... Yeah, they've all lost a reasonable number of troops. your light keep trying to kill them obviously I wouldn't be surprised if they split some archers off to try and kill my general but I don't think that's going to work for them okay let's make my cavalry chase down the Janissary musketeers if they're determined to be frustrating then once my cuirassier have done their noble work with these last handfuls of musketeers you guys can chase down the Armenian archers there. Yeah, like this battle line. 
No risk here. See, they're trying to chase down my cavalry, but now my heavy cavalry has got involved. So let's turn off all my artillery. Get them all to cease fire. There's only nine musketmen here, if you can kill them. That would be delightful. So we've not had the option to exit the battle. Which makes me wonder, is there... Oh no, it's because the, the um, archers are still here, isn't it? Well, they won't be around for long. Come on, Newman. You don't go after them. Get towards the centre. There we go. And then let's just wipe them out. Again, I'm not always so bothered about wiping out armies, but because this is a an army that is going to be quite sure where you are going. You had orders to attack them, unless I must have misclicked. Come on, you got a handful of Nizam infantry there. We got them. Go help my cuirassier knock out these Armenian archers. Although, the other cavalry might not get there in time. Yeah, single digits, down to three. Yes. Nice. So that's a, a large army. Not a strong army, but a large army. Pretty much destroyed. 600 men remaining. That's pretty handy. It's got two armies left in Ankara that well, one in the garrisoning, one towards Istanbul, one towards the east. And obviously we've got a whole bunch of troops down near Damascus, which we're going to need to slowly pick apart. Fortunately, it looks like actually they're all going to gar they're all going to huddle around Damascus. So quick city battle. No, not not quick city battle, but defensive action. So we've got the small army here, not which isn't a problem, and this army coming up, which isn't itself isn't a massive problem either. Interesting, it's only bringing in this army, not. These other two, you'd think they'd be close enough. Oh, well, I'll take it. So let's stand to defend against another Ottoman attack. Because ultimately, if we win here, it will make a follow-up siege battle all the simpler. And then that will mean that Damascus will be ours. And we can push on and secure Jerusalem and Cairo. Secure more ports on the, Mediter on the eastern Mediterranean coast. And uh, yeah, we can really start to open up some southern fronts to help support our armies that are pushing through Central Europe. Nice funky deployment zone for them. So let's put some of our guns up on this higher ground. Take a chunk of this company infantry and form a good strong section of line. Put another set of guns here plus two Units of infantry. So I'm going to put one Gurkha on the left, one Gurkha, one Gurkha on the right, one Gurkha on the left to protect the guns. Put the bulk of our cavalry on the right. Put a unit of cuirassier in the town. Well, here's, here's hoping we don't get screwed with deployment. Kind of, not really. Okay, so I'm probably going to want to push up to more like here. It's not this arm. This army is not the problem. It's the the one that's going to come up behind it. It's the problem. if those Delhi horsemen are going to attempt to cause any shenanigans. These two guns over here need to limber up. So do you. Yeah, they will get the first blood. 
but not for long. Especially if these are Camel Nomads and Deli Horsemen charging up. So there's the, the enemy reinforcements coming in. You guys are going to limber up. So my guns are... My cavalry deployed, ready to respond. Yeah, they can charge my line if they like. It's the new man base here. We're going to push on the on the left flank. My guns, some of my gunners can deploy back here to fire at range. My howitzers get a bit more aggressive. Camel Nomads, Delhi Horsemen, so I'm going to want... My native cavalry up front to intercept and take the volley from the Camel Nomads. I'm going to want my Cuirassier up as well. Yeah, there we go. So they take the musket shot, the musket volley. My heavy cavalry charges to specifically hit the nomads. My lances charge down the Delhi warriors. Advance to charge down some enemy troops. So my East India Company cavalry try focus on the Delhi horsemen. I've got my Gurkhas pushing up as well. They chase down the Eastern warriors. These Faleen... The charging in are now broken. So now these troops can run up to make a more traditional line. You guys advance, my cavalry push up. So this engagement over here, let's get my camels in because my light cavalry, yeah, they're not liking that engagement, but that's what you kind of expect against camels. Reinforcements are all at the back. Yeah, my Cressier chase down, get ready to chase down the Feleen. The Gurkhas are really going to tip the balance there. It's unfortunate my Lancers are charging Mamelukes. Let's try getting my Light Cavalry in to give them some support. You guys are going to fire it well off so you don't kill all my my own cuirassier. There we go, the camel nomads are done. So my lancers, looks not bad, it's just they're not... They're not good when the enemy has... Wait, are they bugged entering the field? Well, that's perfect. So this charge into the rear of the Mameluke ship should do some real good. It'll be even better once we kill these chaps over here. Got 20 odd men. Good. Get my Curassier over there. Get my Gurkhas. I wonder, I do wonder if they have got stuck entering the battlefield. In which case, I want my but we don't want to do too much damage to the to that kill zone because we want to get troops up here because once we kill that unit then they'll come in the camel nomads have returned just run everyone up I'm not worried about that unit of artillery. I'm worried about the doing damage to that gun team there, which means all of my artillery. what my all all my howitzers to push up because we're going to be bombarding the bejesus out of that deployment zone. Let's, let's deploy you guys. There. Let's 
speed up time. So I'm assuming the problem is, is this unit here is stuck and can't get onto the field. So everyone else is kind of... No one else can get in because they're stuck. And we've not won because the battle isn't over. So what I want to do is to form that kill box. So let's just bundle up our artillery. So what's going to take the time is to get our artillery over here. What we want to do is create a box around this zone and just have all our artillery just attack ground in the middle so we aren't... You know, if units start charging our lines, we haven't got too much to worry about. I mean, ultimately, it's only really once I need to get a couple of howitzers in position, more so than anything. Then when we're ready... Although, to be honest, I don't think they'll attack that unit coming in. I don't think they'll shoot that unit as it is. We don't want to advance too far up the hill. Because we don't want them. We want to have a nice section of high ground to charge down into. And we can have our Gurkhas fill in gaps and just stand ready. Same with all of our cavalry. And limber fire it will oh because I don't think they'll shoot or ordinarily at that unit so what I might do is take these two howitzer units give them orders to fire quick line here I may or may not kill that unit. We might have to directly hit them with um, a round shot. I mean, it did like it did accept the order, so we might try it. But my thinking is, if we kill them, then uh, other units will begin to enter the field. So you guys are ready. You guys might have better luck destroying that artillery team. Quite sure who you're trying to target. Someone over there. But there isn't anyone over there. Oh well. They shouldn't kill a gun team. But the hope is, like I said, if we get a good shot. I mean, if we destroy it and then it doesn't work, then fine. Bring you guys just forward just a little bit. Because it looks like you guys are... Okay, that unit is now officially stuck. Two more artillery teams attack ground nearby. This artillery piece is going to keep trying to drop climb because you can damage the unit you can kill it it's just you really do kind of need okay you got this there we go oh but well, i thought it had a whole reinforcing army to come in well sorry for that that was a bit of an anti-climax um <laughs> i thought there was a whole another army to come in yeah i guess they didn't come in whatever reason. Okay. But they retreated just the same because they lost the battle. Okay. Now I've got to fight another action against a smaller force, which I am going to fight because this army's in pretty good nick. I don't want to um, lose troops unnecessarily considering it's just a small force with a bit of artillery and not much infantry and cavalry. Um, there are times where you can auto-resolve, but when you're on the front line when you're on, when you're on your um, well, the front line, uh, you really want to keep an eye on your um, troop management. So if I'm defending, you know, a lone stack near Ankara, that's one thing. 
that I can auto resolve because it's just like, yeah, one army. I've got a couple more. I've got plenty of reinforcements nearby to help me out. So you can afford a bit more attrition. But in the front like this, it's not quite so good. Let's give an infantry and a Gurkha unit onto each flank. But a bit more. So I shouldn't really have the Gurkhas in the selection. There we go. Uh, I don't know how much of this is going to be a giant suit rather than just artillerying the crap out of them. That remains to be seen. Get our howitzers down. Because, yeah, I'm going to speed up time just because. There's not a lot of stuff to shoot at, and once my howitzers can start shooting, then they're going to really be screwed. And I'm happy to let my field artillery focus fire their guns, because... I mean, look how clumped together these guys are. How lovely that is. My howitzers are just going to quick climb their infantry as they come in. I don't need to focus fire my artillery at the moment, just because everything's pretty good. Like, I probably will just leave my artillery attacking back here because they're getting lots of good secondary kills. And the actual troops advancing in. I mean, Risks of Souls are a bit scary. Nizam are a bit scary. There we go. The artillery has fled. So now... You guys can start to smash... smash the line, because what have they got back here? Camel Nomads. Well, the Gunners are coming back, by the looks of it. Still. I think they blew an absolute chunk out of this Pyro Infantry Guard unit. Risks of Souls are running in. <laughs> Screw it. Let's get him in. you guys. Oh, the gunners. Oh, the camels and nomads are charging in, as are the gunners. So all my howitzers focus on the camel nomads. You guys risk it for a biscuit. It's the other way around. Those men hit the Israeli. My cuirassier hit the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. You guys hit the Risks of Souls. You guys cease fire. Bring the cuirassier in. Enemy camels are near. Are, are nearby. You men shrapnel the camels. Should do more damage to them. Their 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 um gun crews are firing. There we go. Cease fire. Fire will off for you guys. Fire will off for them. You men chase down the artillery. You guys chase down. Gun crews there, so that everyone else can engage this unit of Nizam fairly well. Kill that one gun crew. Kill that one gunner, I should say. And kill that other gunner. You're gonna tear right through those guys. You men fire at will. Let's keep my heavy cavalry out of there. Charge the Nizam. Get my general's bodyguard in, actually. Damn right, continue. You chase them down. Yeah, general's bodyguard 
they, they do take some residual damage from misses from the uh, the infantry battle, so they can get taken out from a random uh, musket ball not directly aimed at them. You're not going to take out all those Israeli by the time you, by the time they get to the line, but you'll have a good go. Not many men left, so horse guard. Knock out those Royal Cairo Infantry Guards, because you're not going to recruit any more of them, because I have Cairo. And then you guys and your Nizam Infantry, just make sure they run the they don't run back on themselves through the spikes. Eh, just send them all after him. We don't have to worry about optimizing. Just kill him. There we go. Lovely, lovely defense there. That's chewed up a small Ottoman army. There we go. Lost the entire force is nearly dead. And they finally gave up, which is nice. Who knows, we might actually be able to get, a fight to get to fight our own, <laughs> um, do some stuff in our own turn this time. It's now on to Sweden. I'm going to fight it just because I don't want to deplete this army, and it's a nothing army anyway. I want my force outside Königsberg to be as intact as possible. I really don't want to waste it on auto-resolving minor battles like that. That would be a huge, huge waste of manpower. Especially as I've got to the north of Königsberg or the northeast, there are two, roughly two full stacks of Swedish troops anyway. So it's not the best idea to start um, <laughs> to start unnecessarily wasting men, especially when it doesn't matter. So put one artillery unit inside the field. We're in the line, one unit to the rear to just fire over their heads. All my infantry deploy trenches. A whole bunch of units just hunker down out of the way. I didn't even deploy my howitzers. A bit unnecessary though anyway. There you go, maybe general's been killed. Dragoons has just got annihilated. Horse guards are going to be very upset. Yeah, there they go. My howitzers are... They're ready to open up, but they're not going to really need to. Because, yeah, understandably, that's not much of a garrison. I wouldn't really say it was heroic. But there we are, that's just me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Destroyed the garrison without a single loss of... Any Louisiana lives. And now Königsberg, that's been under siege for many, many turns, is now ours. Lots of Swedish troops falling back towards Moscow. Advantageous for us. Mm, raiding. Hey, hey! So there's another Swedish force to intercept, although they've got a lot of... A lot of cavalry. But we should be fine. We've got a good amount of cover ourselves. We've got six pounder horse artillery, which isn't the best, but... Eh. Be good enough. So I'll just... <laughs> we could destroy another Swedish stack. I don't think we're going we're gonna to get a turn, you guys. I think uh, we're probably going to um, lose this entire episode on uh, defending enemy enemy attacks and uh, repelling their, uh, their offensives. But still, that's a good thing, because it means when it does become our turn, we have fewer forces in the field to be concerned about. So yeah, this is horse artillery, so it's faster but lighter. But it's not too devastating. Um, I mean, it's not... It's uncomfortable when we've got... When we've got... Um, if we're against units that have got, you know, more substantial artillery 
regiments with heavier, much heavier guns, but more often than not, at this stage of the campaign, that's not something we're going to be facing. So I've got my skirmishers that I'm going to deploy out on the flanks. Got my lancers and hussars on one flank. Cuirassier and my general on the other. Again, we've got a good howitzer contingent. So you men can stretch out your line a bit more. You men run up on top of the hill. You men advance out on the flank. But yeah, so our guns are lighter. They don't do as much damage, but fundamentally, they don't really need to. Although it sure as hell looks like we've got some massed cavalry assaults coming in. But their artillery's gone for. It's done. It's not gone. Gone for. Twenty fifth light lifeguard. So these are Swedish unique cover, I think. Okay, you guys haven't got your. Don't worry, you haven't. I didn't give you your order to put stakes in the ground yet. Nah. So let's pull you guys back. Bring up our cavalry first. Lifeguard of horse advancing in the centre. As so they're advancing through the woods. You're going to gang up on the enemy dragoons. You men deploy into square. We repelled one enemy cavalry unit. And the dragoons on the flank have been chased off. Our infantry can advance on this flank now. And our cavalry can pursue and plunge deep into the enemy lines. Who's that coming in now? Another regiment of horse? Get my lancers to hit that cavalry unit there. Let's get our howitzers to start to focus fire into the centre of the centre of their position. Oh, we killed a whole bunch of cuirassiers there, but again, want to retarget the the massive men in the centre. Curiosier are gone. If you're firing shots into the back of this regiment of horse, you might be a bit vulnerable. You men charge the fusiliers. You men engage the light horse there. Because the red, the one we know, fusiliers do not like artillery attacks. Let's switch our artillery to round shot. Bombard the marines. Ah, they charge one of our fusilier units without me noticing. You're not the right unit to charge grenadiers. You charge the general. Half of our units are sat behind a a wall. Cavalry out of the way. How its unit can form square once more. You guys actually charge the provincial cavalry instead. You guys attack the marines. How its start to drop shots on some of these grenadiers in the centre. New men engage the fusiliers. Curiosier hack down the engineers or attempt to. The grenadiers are being attacked. Let's get our general body, general's bodyguard out there. Let's 
You can unload canister shot against the marines, They're trying to advance down the main road. There we go, you guys chase down the fusiliers. Let's cure CF, flee. Push our men up to clear out the woods. As a result, get our cavalry out of there. Get you guys to chase down the fusiliers. Get my general's bodyguard over here to clean out some of these other routing units. Get you guys out of square to begin pushing into the woods and engaging those marines trying to advance down the road. Got some bugged units here. Skirmishers advance up to the woods. Engineers have charged my light infantry, which might be considered a problem, but actually isn't. So this help, horse artillery, you're blasting grapple shot. Charge into the engineers. Okay, you men pivot to engage those grenadiers. Make sure everyone's killing as many people as they can. My, my generals have got a great. He's going to have a great time hacking away at these grenadiers. Uh, unit of marines is down. New men chase down the engineers. My own skirmishers. Fall back. You men charge into that unit of grenadiers. Charge the militia. You are Lancer Guards after all. So the grenadiers are understandably upset about what's going on. Let's bring our Curacier into the mix. You guys continue to attack the Lancer Guards. So we've got the militia up here, and that's all they've got left. So let's cease our artillery fire. We've cleared them out of the woods. And now we are going to pursue and destroy. Especially as they've got a good number of decent infantry units that would be worth knocking out and preventing them from regrouping and replenishing. And there we go. So we've got grenadiers and foot guard units. So the grenadiers are going to get chewed up pretty quick. The Lancers are bringing in more support to kill the Marines. But it is better just focus on killing the Grenadiers and then all of this cavalry becomes free to chase down the... Come on, kill him! There we go. So now all these guys together at full speed can chase down and destroy these routing Swedish Marines. There we go. It says close victory. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Yeah, we lost 500 men, they lost 2,000. That's a rate of attrition they really cannot afford to, um, afford to maintain. Yeah, I think, uh, Italy is getting agitated on what might be going up. Going on. <laughs> what's going on or what's up? Not going up. Yep, so here come the Greeks. They will not be they will not be alive for long in our universe. Right, Tilsits got raided, as we know. So we've got damaged force to the north. 
as well as another a fleet that can be cleared out. So you, Adrian, replenish and advance down here. Charles of Castor, can you guys abandon Ankara? You can. You guys can advance from the west. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm going to mix you guys together. I mean, I know there's a army up there that needs dealing with, so I might actually pull you back to deal with them. You're going to be positioned ready to attack that Ottoman army. Elsewhere, you're going to try and chase down that force there. The infrastructure's getting better. Let's upgrade the farms. Let's take the upgrading. So let's go to Kazan and demand the surrender of the garrison. There's no sense for you to die. There we go. We've got some good visibility on the, the frontier. Let's get rid of this theatre. And then Mathis, Mathis de Gubrian can replenish and advance on Ust-Soyolsk. Let's bring these militia down to Petrovskaya. And the troops at Petrovskaya might advance this direction. I mean, I'm assuming this guy's going to take Ust and then take Archangelsk. But I want this guy to start to pen in some of these troops around Moscow. So if he can secure the bridge... That would prevent them from doing, you know, from um, crossing this river at too many points. Then Claude, Perrin, Fasse, you guys push and take this bridge at Moscow. Prepare the commercial basin. Your, orders, your, your recruitment is still ongoing, but again, you can only really recruit. Chef. This force is... Nearly able to hit Riga. But they're not fully replenished, so let's take this force and march them out, out of range of the control zone. But ready to hit Riga, because the idea is these guys can, can hit Riga, one of these armies can clear out the Swedish up here, the garrison at Yelgava can march south and hit Vilnius. You're ready to take Warsaw. Um... You're ready to take Vienna, but actually I might try and abandon the siege and start the siege again from this side. You men can advance to... Okay, right. So you've pushed in front. Let's take Charles here. You can't hit them this turn, but you can advance up to here. Amadeo Mortier, you can advance up to within range of Hungary. That force there, I might just auto. Blip. It's there going, yeah, but it did lots of damage to us, but again, it's a, a secondary army we've got deep in our heartland. They're doing disproportionate amounts of damage, but it doesn't really matter. Not with these troops. I mean, on the frontier it does. And then these troops at Berlin. Go knock out remnants. There we go. So you might replenish, get back to Berlin. Okay, so now you guys... Advance down to this section here. These troops, let's take our least experienced line infantry unit and combine them with a few other units so we can take a former grenadier and make him a general, Urbain Le, Le, Le Roux, 33. You can advance up to this bridge here. So at some point we need to knock out this force hit Genoa. We do have, we still have this army running around, getting up to no good in France. Just stay behind them, just pursue, because Paris is 
Paris is picking up some troops. Just in case. There we go. Let's check our building. Yeah, you can chase down and destroy that little random army there. Immediately. By the left. March, sir. So you're still replenishing. But when so when these guys cross the border and hit Tunis. Another army wants to land and hit Tripoli as well. You guys need to land and take Corsica. We need to land an army to go take out the um, the, Dan the Danish on Iceland. Keep all the religious buildings upgraded. Keep the industry upgraded. We don't want to get caught out by a sudden financial crisis. Grand Opera House is max level for that kind of territory. Yeah, you just really don't want to be late game and then suddenly go, oh no, I can't I can't um, do what I need to do. You know, I've I've spent all my you know, I've, I've I've spent all my money and I've just now got I don't have anything I can do to try and fix the situation, so just just may as well just keep pouring money into the territories okay so you guys got them surrounded i mean you're ripe for an attack here at jerusalem take maurice duplier will they surrender to us no well let's take damascus and then those two armies can speed on down towards jerusalem although we might have to do some um intelligence gathering in the desert to see if any of the armies marched into the fog of war during well, the, well one of them did the army that didn't come in in reinforcement that we expected to they did retreat to the east and they might actually be sat in the fog of war so we'll take the city well actually if we take the city it will it will reveal all that land anyway oh yes from our last attack excellent we're gonna march the gunners up onto the hill Guards are going to storm the corner breach with some troops for reinforcements. These guys are going to storm the breach on the right. My rangers are going to advance up to the gatehouse and my cavalry are going to find wherever the, uh, the most exploitable section is. That's where they're going to go. I mean, my first volley should have all been the centre. Because look at all that. Look at all those camels and cavalry. And yeah, the mortars are getting ready to fire. But I think they've worked out. There's not really a lot they can do. I want to speed up time just to watch another volley of... Quick climb, go off. Come on. Show me it. Show me it. Boom, 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 boom. They're, oh, they're starting to move out. Doesn't matter, we'll still get most of them. Not as many as I'd have liked. Oh, so one of the units of Mamluks has advanced out of the town. Good on them. Not quite the approach I was anticipating to take. Armenian archers, Janissary musketeers, Garrison Azar. Well, if this is the way they want to do it, then good luck to them. Because they're all shooting at the mixture of the cavalry and soon to be the Kurdish hillmen. Actually, divvy out some targets now. So all of these guns, shrapnel shot the breach. Don't attack unit, just shrapnel shot the breach. Oh, 
<laughs> yep, get a good amount of kills. Begin the assault. New men, cease fire, advance and support. The guard de corps moving up. These troops are just gonna move up. The cavalry is gonna take some take some hits. Okay, you deploy square in that section of the breach because the camels are coming. To be honest, I might as well just keep my howitzers firing in the middle, because at least that's safe. And I'm not gonna kill too many of my own men doing that. Don't worry, guardsmen. Hold ground! Now the mortar shots are coming in. Kurdish hillmen have been wiped out. Storm the breach! You men take position in the command HQ. Power to shots are away. Yeah, it's a good few. Good few camels killed. Some armed populace in the center. This is it now. Deploy square. You men charge down the bombard mortars. You men just take position somewhere around here. Very well. You guys attack the general's bodyguard. Those brown are good. See, they are, those are routing camels. So these Maison, these guards, like they're doing, they should do pretty well, but they are still guards, they aren't invincible. There we go. Continue the attack. To be honest, I should just start getting my cavalry in. Engage, engage wherever they please. This artillery unit is going to drag. Well, this infantry unit is going to drag their general off of his horse wherever he is. Here he is over here. Cannot sustain the cavalry losses. Your general will be lost. Camel gunners are falling fast. Cuirassier involved. So they're mostly upset because we've got um, mortars firing. So if I can get my cavalry around. My light cover around to sweep and take out the mortars, and there's not really a lot they can do. I've got a handful of guard men protecting the general, although actually I can't tell which one he is. Ah. Running my <laughs> running my cavalry through my own artillery fire. That's genius. I'll never expect that. go. It looks like a bit of a mess, but it's a beautiful mess. A beautiful mess of, of fine precision and planning. Go on, kill that last gunner. Once you have, 
once you take out that last gunner, you're going to nail it straight for the back of this fight in the corner. Which won't break the camel's back, so to speak, but... It'll do some good. Slam! So now they should be mightily upset. And they certainly will be once these guys get over here. Although they might actually just act as a... Just make sure they don't get to the centre. Such beautiful chaos. Guardsmen are still in there. They're taking many, many losses. They are the foot guards. Their job is to take territory and bring it into the Empire. So this is where there's a lot of them hidden. Give the orders to re-engage. It's one Janissary Musketeer unit guy right there. Take him out and that's one f less flag. And I could use my artillery to attack. There we go. The enemy's will to fight has been broken. Obviously the Kurdish Hillmen stuck around for a bit longer, but they're going to run away. Because they know we own the Kurdish Hills now. You will not be able to avoid us. Nice. So there goes Damascus into the empire yeah there we go so that we do have potential for a couple of messy battles so we're going to want to move these units into a, a blocking position because we're going to start to draw these guys into a pitch battle so many archers yeah but that's good this army that's currently looking for a job can advance up the west coast and go to threaten Jerusalem. So we've taken Damascus. Um, yeah, I don't have any villages to deliver to develop. We've only got Aleppo. But I could do with more priests. But then again, we have a thanks to some of our philosophical um, researches, we do immediately cut religious unrest in half. So it's not a massive. Not a massive um, priority. Ooh, it did not like me changing theatres so quick. Okay, so let's move you guys over to there. Take. Drop you guys over to there. Combine you guys up together. Drop you guys onto the trade post. Well, split you guys up to secure the last trade post. When the um, Crimean Carnate go, they will they will fall rapidly. So we've dealt with all of that. To be honest, I should probably just take Warsaw. Because the garrison's nothing. If you take Warsaw, that will really put the boot into um, Naples. You guys, not Naples, um, Austria. You guys are going to raid trade here. To be honest, do I just take Olivier Bousset, embark him? A well, I won't be able to invade Genoa this turn, but I may as well declare war on them because we're at war with everyone else. Yeah, they, they might call in the Knights of St John. Oh, they have. Interesting, but they were going to be on the chopping block as well anyway. There we go. So yeah, they've got a bit of a navy. But let's see what they've actually got on their little island. Yeah, not a lot. Yeah, do that. Make sure they don't go anywhere. But we're probably going to want to take this army and attack Warsaw. We're looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the Assault on Warsaw. Cheers everyone.